So as you guys know, um, I am now 11, and um, in one of my videos, um, I think I told you guys about my anxiety problem and how it kind of bothered me a lot and I couldn't make videos, so I'm sorry about the TV. Um, it's been a really hard thing to deal with as a kid, like here, around my neck, it feels tight all the time and I have to like move my head like this and it's really annoying and when I eat it gets stuck or something like that and I have these really big breakdowns when I just randomly start thinking about death or start thinking that maybe I'm I just think about stuff that's bad or that could happen so it really bothered me so this is kind of just like my story so it's been a really tough experience so it started in december of 2013 it's been a year from anxiety for a long time my parents thought that there was something wrong with me and i had to be to the doctors and when we went to the doctors they said there was nothing wrong with me and then my parents started to get worried because I wasn't eating my dinner. I wasn't acting normal and my voice was going like this and it's going like Ugh. it was really fun. And it was a really hard experience. So and then it started to get a little bit more harsh because my parents started to get a little bit upset with each other. They didn't have as close as a relationship. So that almost led to divorce, and that gave my anxiety a lot more to deal with, so it was harder. And I just had a really bad experience with it, with going with my parents. I'm sorry that I'm saying experience, but it was just hard, so that's why I'm probably not happy in my previous videos about the doll. I didn't get it. My parents said I didn't need any more dolls, and stuff like that so for me back on track and back on it by the way my purpleness is gone out of my hair because it's a year ago that I did it so what happened was well we started going to counseling so my parents went to counseling with this girl named Esther and I went to her and I got to play with this like little squishy toy when she asked me how I was feeling and it really helped because when you have anxiety, you do this a lot. And you, like, have to, like, bounce your leg a lot. Or just, like, you have to be moving. You have to be, like, breathing. So it feels, like, really scary. And then I started feeling like, like I just didn't want to live anymore. So I, like, apparently just felt like I wanted to die or something it was scary because that almost led to suicide and I'm really glad that I didn't die in it makes me really upset and yeah so I'm sorry oh my gosh I'm sorry I get really emotional when I talk about it and uh I need to stay happy, so, and then we went to counseling, and I have recovered, to be honest, I have recovered, and it's great, so, I'm feeling better now, but I can still have a lot of stuff, but I take this medicine stuff, I had to take this medicine, sorry, I had to take this medicine stuff, it was called Zantac, by the way, my parents did not split up they were having this emotional breakdown and my parents fight it fought at the time if you guys are wondering how old I am right now I'm 11 years old and I'm gonna be turning 12 and I have a new channel that is called ZBZ I'll put it down in the description box and I'll put the link to it in the description box or in the next video if you guys can find it find it my Instagram is ZBZ if you guys want to check it out. I love you guys. Bye. And I'll try to stay happy and upload videos for you guys. Bye.